happy Thursday, teachers and scholars. We're going to just relax and have a terrific Thursday. Good morning, Seneca Hills Elementary students and staff. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge of allegiance to the, stat, to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, and invisible, for liberty and justice for all. Please remain standing for the Bobcat affirmation. Podcasts are powerful. I think positively. I take ownership of my actions. I make wise choices. I'm, ex I'm excited about new learning. I will reach my goals. I forgive others. I forgive others and myself. I am, I am understanding the differences. I am a leader. I'm a Bobcat. This has been Mallory Beard. Now, every day, all of the Bobcats within our Scenic Hill School should strive to display our foundational values. In order to do this, you must think about the three R approach, which is to be respectful, be responsible, and to always be ready to learn. We don't have any birthdays today, but tomorrow, maybe we'll have a birthday or two. See you soon. In today's classroom spotlight, we would like to shine a light on our grade one scholars, specifically our grade one scholars in Miss Somerville's classroom. On yesterday, they were doing some courageous concentration. They were thinking at the highest level as they were breaking down, decomposing numbers into uh, ones and tens. On the screen, you will see just a few of the scholars as they were working or as they were showing me that they understood their PBO for the day. So when visitors come in your classroom, are you able to tell them what you are learning about, how to complete your work, what vocabulary words your teacher talks about? Because these grade one scholars were able to tell me everything. And if you look right in the middle of the screen, you will see Miss Serenity has her PBO study guide out as she is working. Scholars, that is what the PBO study guide is for, and you should be excited to tell anybody who comes in your class what you are learning about on that day. That is what it means to be ready to learn. Great job, Ms. Somerville's class. We will be looking for other classes and scholars who can tell us about their PBO, their vocabulary words, and what they are learning. Bobcat Scholars, it is time for us to commit to three. So let's say our 3GC Literacy Pledge together. I promise to read each day and each night. I know it's the key to growing up right. I'll read to myself I'll read to a crowd. It makes no difference if silent or loud. 
I'll read at my desk, at home, and at school, on a bean bag or bed by the fire or pool. Each day that I read puts smarts in my head, cause brains grow more thoughts the more they are fed. Come rain or come shine, snow, wind, or sleet, each day of the week, reading's a treat. So I take this pledge to make reading my way of feeding my brain what it needs every day. Scholars, on Tuesday, each of you took home a copy of the Book Nook free virtual literacy tutoring sign up forms. Have you ask your parents to sign you up for this free tutoring program, which will take place right after we get back from uh, from spring break. And it will um, be available until we get out of school at the end of this school year. Have your parents signed you up for the Book Nook tutoring? Well, randomly every week we will give a prize to one to two students who have been signed up for the book nook tutoring program so because it's our first week we're going to do something really special and today we are going to give away three let's count them one to three scholars a special treat because their parents signed them up for the book nook tutoring program let's see who our lucky winners are today <gasps> congratulations goes to israel williams armani reed and a curie Patton. These scholars may come down after they get out of lunch today to receive their prizes. You never know. You might be one of next week's recipients. When you get home this evening, ask your parents if they signed you up for the free Book Nook Tutoring Program. In today's school-wide events and activities, scholars, this is just a reminder, we have one more day, just one more day before we have our next Bobcat Bonanza. I truly hope that you have been following our three school-wide rules of being respectful, responsible, and ready to learn each day because we are going to have some fun on friday scholars also tomorrow you only have one more day one more day to get in your entry for the week for grizzlies read to achieve theme which is to read a geography or global based book that is a book about the world and your activity for the week is to create a magazine and telling people why they should visit the place that you read about so have you read a book that talked about a place that someone can visit if so then all you have to do is to create your magazine ad to go along with your book okay and lastly on monday next monday we will be out of school and we are out of school in observance of president's day now i know that we have some scholars who are new to um to uh, in-person learning so we are going to listen to a book that talks about some special things that some of our presidents uh, have done so how much do you know about the presidents because on monday we 
are celebrating all our presidents, past and present. So let's learn a little bit about our presidents. <laughs> President's Day by Margaret McNamara, illustrated by Mike Gordon. Don't forget to subscribe for more read-alouds. Who has a birthday soon? asked Mrs. Connor. I do, said Ayana. Another famous person was born on that day, said Mrs. Connor. You? asked Michael. Abraham Lincoln, said Ayana. Ayana knew a lot about Abraham Lincoln. He was a great president, she said. What is a president? asked Riza. All that week, the first graders learned about the presidents. The president is in charge of America, said Michael. Like the principal, said Reza. When we get older, said Hannah, we will vote to choose our president. Not like the principal, said Reza. The president lives in the White House, said Neil. That is a very big house, said Jamie. The first president was George Washington, said Katie. He was good at math, said Egan. President Tyler had 15 children, said Emma. Teddy bears were named after Teddy Roosevelt said James. President Reagan was a movie star before he was a president, said Becky. Our president was Barack Obama, said Nia. Abraham Lincoln was tall and a little funny looking, Ayana said. But he was very wise. He read lots of books. He stopped Americans from fighting against one another. He thought all people were equal. When I grow up, I want to be president just like Lincoln, said Ayana. When you grow up, I think you will, said Mrs. Connor. Subscribe for more read-alouds. Check out our other read-alouds in the links down below. All right, scholars, it is that time. We are having another theme day. Our theme day will take place on next Tuesday. And next Tuesday is such a special day. If you look on the screen, this is the date for next Tuesday. It is 2 22 22. Look at all those twos. So, in honor of 2 22 we are doing a district wide theme day. That's every scholar uh, in Shelby County Schools can participate in a district wide theme day. So, listen up. This is what you need to be gathering so that you can have your things ready for our 2 2 22 theme day. So, this is what you are able to wear to school on 2 2 22. You can wear a tutu, you can wear a tie, or you can wear mixed matched tennis shoes. That means you can wear two of your tennis shoes that are not the same color. So we're going to do tutus, ties, and a mixed match tennis shoes. I can't wait to see what you come up with on our 2 22 theme day. 
Remember, every day we're building brilliant bobcats because we are raising the bar by believing in ourselves, achieving our goals, and reimagining our future. We will conclude our announcements with our victory roar. Say it with me. Together, we must believe. Together, we will achieve. Together, we are reimagining 901. Have a fantastic day of teaching and learning.